Hello everybody, this is Money Mom. Welcome back to the channel. It's Tuesday, Personal Growth Day. I want to talk about what I think is a very important subject, and I always want your feedback too. When is it okay to give up on your goals, Now, the, or quit your goals? That, I know, doesn't sound great in theory, does it? But, I wrote down some things, and I definitely wanted to discuss this with you guys. I want to tell you about something I just recently quit this week. As you guys know, I take classes through the library. I take one class a month. Well, I signed up for a class on Excel. And I started the class. And after starting it, I realized they were doing all these formulas and all these things that I just don't need to be doing. And the class was taking way more time than I wanted to spend. And it wasn't anything that I could use for any of my work. So, I sent them an email and asked them to resign me from the class. So, guess what? I gave up on it, but you know what? After I did that, I felt really good. Another thing you guys already know, I worked on trying on the keto eating plan, and I found out that that was not a good fit for me, but it's great for others, but wasn't for me. So, I decided to do something else instead. Basically, what I'm getting at is we all have things that we want to accomplish. When we write these down, we become enthusiastic. And sometimes we get frustrated when goals or, you know, any type of goal, whether it's finance, health, personal goal, work goal, whatever it is, and it doesn't work out. What I propose is this. Whatever goals that you have or something you really want to accomplish, think about it. Write them down. I always feel like writing these things down is a good thing. I keep mine on the refrigerator, as you guys know. And every month, have a date that you sit down and you reevaluate all the things that you're doing. Look over your fitness goals, your health goals, uh, work-related goals, finance goals, and ask yourself, are these still working? Are these realistic? Is this something I'm accomplishing? Is there anything I can tweak? I just feel like this is really important. Because I don't know about you guys, but sometimes... I want to do things because a lot of other people are doing things. And I'm going to give you a quick example. I noticed that there's many wonderful YouTube channels out there, such as the One Big Happy, Budget Girl, that have fabulous vlogs, but they're also excellent writers, and they also have a blog. So I thought, well, gosh, maybe I should start a blog. Well, I haven't started it, but you know what? After thinking about it, I thought... I don't really even enjoy writing very much, so that probably isn't a good goal for me or something I'd want to do unless my husband did it, you know, So, and that wouldn't be me, so I decided not to do that. I kind of just wanted to open up this dialogue to say, if you have some goals that just aren't making sense for you anymore, or it's not a good return on your investment for your time, you're spending too much time and not really accomplishing what you want, it's okay to st take a step back and say, you know what, let's rethink this, let's regroup, let's come up with a better plan where I do feel more accomplished and I feel like I'm going to do what I want to do. Because whatever your values are today, maybe next month, they may not be your values. You may change what's important to you and that's okay. So let me know how you guys feel about this. I just wanted to open this dialogue up about goals because as you know, when we go on YouTube and we look at any YouTube channel, it's a lot about accomplishing and enriching our lives. And that's great, but I do think it's good to reflect on what we're doing to, say, to see if it still makes sense for us. I'd love your feedback below, and I hope that this video is really helpful for some of you and helps you guys reflect on some of the important goals in your life. This is Money Mom signing off, and I love you. Bye-bye.